today I'm going to be sharing my complete skincare routine. I think it's been a little over a year since I last did an updated one and so many of you have requested this. So I do have acne prone skin as well as acne scars. So if this is your skin type or if this is something that you struggle with, I think I have a few tips or recommendations I can share. So everything I mentioned will be listed in the description box below and let's go ahead and get started. So every morning I start off by cleansing my face and I'm still using the Tea Tree Facial Wash by The Body Shop. And if you've been following me for a really long time, you know that I've been using this cleanser for so many years. I think it's been more than five years already. And um, I do like to make my own cleansers every now and then, like the recipes I've shared with you guys in past videos. But the majority of the time, this is what I'm using. I think this is perfect for acne prone skin. It cleanses the skin thoroughly and just keeps it clear. And I like to double cleanse. So first I'll wash my face just using my hands and then I'll rinse it off. And the second time I like to go in with my spin brush and this is by Vanity Planet. And I think it's really important to use something like this, especially if you have acne prone skin because I feel like if I'm just using my hands I'm only cleaning the surface of the skin and I'm not really getting deep inside the pores you know when I first added this brush into my skincare routine I saw the biggest difference in my skin I started seeing way less breakouts and the texture of my skin also improved a lot it looked and felt a lot more smooth so for me this brush is a must-have and it's really affordable too you can get it for $30 and it comes with different brush attachments so you can use this for your face and for your body and it works just as great as the Clarisonic and the Clarisonic costs more than $100 so I really recommend this brush. So after I double cleanse my skin, I'll apply toner. And this is another product that I've been using for such a long time. This is the Thayer's Rose Petal Witch Hazel Toner, and it's infused with aloe vera. And I think their packaging recently changed, but it's still the same formula. So all I do is take a cotton round and I'll wipe this all over my face. And I love this toner because it not only gets rid of any leftover residue, but it also leaves my skin feeling moisturized. So I think this toner works great for all skin types. Um, and the scent is very gentle, it's not overpowering. But they do have other scents available like lavender or cucumber, I think. So if you're not a big fan of the rose scent, you can try one of the other ones. So the third step in my skincare routine is to moisturize. And I've currently been going back and forth between two different oils, which I know can sound really crazy to some people because we automatically think that oils will leave our skin feeling greasy, or break us out, but that's not always the case. We shouldn't be afraid to use oils. They can actually help control oil production and keep our skin hydrated. So when my skin is feeling dry, especially right now during the winter, I love using jojoba oil. But if not, I really like using rosehip seed oil because it's an amazing product. It's full of nutrients. Um, it works really great for acne scars, for anti-aging. It promotes clear skin and it leaves my skin with this really beautiful glow. So what I like to do is take five drops of either jojoba oil or rosehip seed oil and I'll mix it with my new skincare secret, that's what I'm going to call it. This is frankincense oil and frankincense oil is probably the most valuable thing in my skincare routine right now. I've been using it for about three months and I really wish I would have started using it much sooner. I think it would have saved me a lot of heartache and probably a lot of money too. You know, after having acne for so many years, I was left with acne scars and I'm not only talking about the red superficial scarring. I also have indented scars and I've been trying to heal both of them for the last couple of years and I've definitely come a long way. I think everything I've added into my skincare routine has helped in some way or another but I've definitely seen the biggest improvement ever since I started using frankincense oil. It's just lightened so much of the redness. I feel like I have a much more even skin tone. I can go out in public without any makeup, without any foundation and not feel self-conscious about it like I used to. This is an incredible scar healer. It's anti-inflammatory, so it also works really great if you have existing acne. Um, it also has anti-aging properties, and there's just so many reasons why I could recommend this oil to you. But you just have to be patient because things like this don't work overnight. But if you're consistent, you'll be so thankful that you kept up with it. So after I moisturize with the oils, I apply sunscreen and I've currently been using the Kiss My Face sunscreen. This one has SPF 30 and wearing sunscreen is extremely important, especially if you're trying to lighten acne scars. If you're not wearing sunscreen, you could actually be making things worse. So I really can't stress that enough. It's very important to make sunscreen a part of your skincare routine. 
So my night routine is exactly the same as my morning routine, except for the sunscreen. I obviously don't apply that at night, but I use the same face wash, the same toner, and moisturizer. So the only thing I'll add is a spot treatment if I have a pimple. And I love using the Clean and Clear Acne Spot Treatment. This is another product that I've been using for so many years. So as you can see, I tend to stick to the same products. If something works for me, I'm just gonna keep using it. But I really do love this spot treatment. Um, it helps to get rid of any pimple super fast. So I also do things on a weekly basis. I think whether you have acne prone skin or not, it's really important to give our skin a little extra attention other than just cleansing, toning, and moisturizing. And I'm a big fan of applying face masks. I think they can make the biggest difference in our skin. And one that I really recommend, I always recommend this for acne prone skin, is bentonite clay mixed with a little bit of apple cider vinegar. And this is the bentonite clay I love to use. This is the Aztec Secret Indian Healing Clay. And if you follow me on Snap, Snapchat, you see me applying this all the time. So I'm not going to get into too much detail about this, but um, I really do recommend this for acne prone skin. Another mask I find myself using all the time is the Pumpkin Enzyme Mask by Banish. This has amazing acne fighting ingredients. It's all natural and organic. Um, so both of these are my go-to face masks and I typically apply a mask two to three times per week. Another thing I do on a weekly basis is microneedling for my acne scars. And the one I use is by Banish. So if you're not familiar with this, this is basically a roller with tiny needles all around. And what this does is create microscopic holes in your skin. And it basically triggers your skin to heal itself. So anything that you apply afterwards will really go in and repair the skin. And I know it sounds really scary, but trust me, it doesn't hurt. Um, it does a really great job of getting rid of acne scars, even in dental scars which is my main focus right now. So after I finish using this I'll apply my rose hip seed oil mixed with frankincense oil and I've basically got rid of all of my red scarring. I'm just really focusing more on the indented scars now and I know it's going to take a little bit longer to heal those because they're deeper and I've had them for such a long time but I'm just going to keep doing what I'm doing and be consistent. So that's my complete skincare routine. I really hope you guys found this helpful. I know whenever I struggled with acne I would search for these kinds of videos and I I still do because um, it's really nice to see what things work for people that are in the same situation as me. So I'll have everything that I mentioned listed in the description box below so you can do your own research and check out the products. And that's it for this video, so I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!